Sometimes when you work with diagrams, you may want to group them together. For example, I got this user and I got this mobile phone, I got this wireless uh, access point and a switch. Maybe I want to group them out so that we know that they belong together. So in order to do that, what you can simply do is you can go into insert and here you have option to insert a container. So I'm, I can go over here, select this. I'm going to hold shift and select the mobile phone and I'm going to click container and I'm going to choose the container of my choice. So I can go over here. You can see that this is one type of container, that type of container, which actually gives a hint that the shapes belong together just like this. So I'm going to choose a container of my choice just like this. For example, I'm going to choose this. So I'm going to say uh, and user just like this. And there you go. There's my container right here. So once I click on the container, you can see that I got the formatting options for container as well. So you can go over here, choose the container that you like. You can go over here, choose the container right here, choose the container and so forth. So I'm just going to stick to uh, the default container that which I chose right here. I can also go to uh, con, uh, heading style and choose different styles that I can choose from just like that. So I can go over here, choose the container over here and then I'm going to go to into insert and insert another type of container. Maybe I want to write this now and if I were to move the container, the whole object group moves all together as you can see. But if I were to select the object, it just moves the object right here. So I can just go over here select the container of my choice. I can go into heading style and choose whether I want the heading on the top or button. I can also fit the container to the content. So if I have a larger container fit to content, it'll resize it. I can also have automatic resize expand as needed. So if I were to drag in the, uh, the object right here and I can go over here into automatic resize. So uh, just expand as needed, right? Fit to content then it actually goes over here. So I actually drag that out of the container. So this is not working out. So you can see over here now I'm going to fit it to content just like that. And it fits to the content right there. So that is how you can work with containers inside of Microsoft Visio. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.